Hi everyone, welcome to the channel and uh, welcome to the garage. Back on the Series 3 again. This time some quite extensive uh, dumb iron rot. This way, I was hoping that it weren't going to be as bad as this and I wanted to get to restore it. But uh, as you can see, there was a plate across there that's then rotted out because the plate had straight over the top and rot. That plate was on top, no it wasn't, that plate was there, it's all bent up, covering all that up. That plate was on top of there, welded across, the, welded up the sides, I said welded loosely, you see some of the welds just broke off, uh, and it wasn't even welded across the top there. That plate was on top of there, we've still got extra plate there, extra plate there, extra plate there, on there, all, all this so uh, it's beyond beyond repair. The only thing you can do with that is replace it. So that's what we're gonna do is replace it with a uh, new dom new domain. I've rigged up this contraption here. It's just a few bits of scrap metal there laying around in an old steering uh, uh, connection rod that I've put to maintain that gap across there so I know that gap's going to be right and I've been well as right as it gets because I've been round and I've measured um, a couple of chassis and it's sort of the distance between there sort of ranges between uh, 63 and uh, 63.6 I think it were uh, centimeters so it's it's quite varied obviously the, the chassis flex over time and they do sort of spread out a little bit but uh, British engineering for you it's not precise it don't need to be precise it's still functioned for 30 odd years 40 odd years even sorry so yeah that's the mission today I've loosely marked just with a short mark across there because that's where where that is level with this front cross member um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it slightly before that I'm going to take this radiator mount out and I'm going to cut that slightly before that probably a centimetre and a half before it um, like I've said before in previous videos it's it's easier to take more off than it is to add some on so I'm going to cut that off all, all the way all the way round down down there as well there is a plate still on on the bottom in fact there's two because there's one there that sticks out like a sore thumb um, and there's another one along there so I'm just going to cut it all straight off and see what's left I'm obviously going to have to do some repairs here before anything gets welded on Oh we you see the original in there. Yeah, it's gonna need a bit of plating up before I uh, get too far with it.
So, uh, when did I get to? I kind of buggered up the filming a bit when I was cutting it all off. Um, yeah, basically I've cut it off flush with this cross member. Uh, I've had to repair, sorry, I've put weld through primer on it. I didn't have much luck with that last time, but we'll see how we go. Um, so that's still a bit tacky. So cut it flush. Um, I've replaced this bottom section here and a section there that was all rotten out. That's all good. Got the um, uh, new outrigger all cleaned up. I had to cut the return off there, which is on the floor down here somewhere. It wasn't lining up flush against there, so I've cut it off. Oops, yeah. You can see um, there's a bit of an angle on that, but well, I hope you can see it. Uh, I had to cut it off at an angle from there because uh, it just weren't it weren't sitting flush against the cross member. So I've cut crosses into there to reinforce a bit of reinforced welding. Uh, I've still got to clean up the deburning inside of them, and that's more or less ready to weld on now. That obviously is fastened up there secure on the floor that hasn't moved anywhere so when I put that up it lines up perfect the main the main thing to get lined up on it the most important thing is that hole because that then sort of depicts where you, uh, your, your your suspension sits so that is that hole has to go in these the aftermarket parts same as always they're, they're not always a perfect replica of the original uh, not that you could tell with the state of the original on this, uh, but you know, all you can do is get it as near as you possibly can, so it, so it looks right. Uh, yeah, these crosses that I said on previous videos, they had quite a bit of strength in there. Once I've got it on, if I feel it's still not going to be strong enough, I'll reinforce plate over the top of it. But I'll get it on, and I'll see. Uh, see how it feels once it's on there so i'm gonna go and have a cup of tea now and wait for this uh, well through primer but when i was doing the outrigger the bulkhead outrigger i had problems with the well through primer it just wasn't arcing properly it wasn't welding properly so what i'm going to do is when i slot this on i'll go around like i did then with the wire wheel on the um, grinder and just wire wheel all the primer off where I'm, once that's sat on there, where I'm going to be welding, I'll just clean that up, that back off again, and uh, hopefully we'll be uh, we'll be golden. Right. So I'll go and have my cup of tea, and I'll see you in a minute. Right, let's have a go fitting this, shall we? Threads are knackered in there and on that bolt, but I'm not worried about that. <coughs> I've cross threaded it when I've put it in with gun. Oh, forgot to deburr this back in a minute. Right. Now we're ready. Just lock that on there with my big bolt gun. I've just had it a second ago. Yeah, you do that, you put some down and it's gone. The fairies can take it away. So that's on there. I'm going to have to trim this along here. What I want to do is leave a big enough gap so when I weld that seam, I'm welding that, the original chassis, and that all at the same time. See how it sticks up there, so I'll cut it along there. Pushing back a bit. Right. 
get the uh, the wire wheel, clean this primer off, and get a few spots of welding. clamp the bottom up in a minute when I get around to it but Clean it off as best I can as well. Can't bother no more like that. Enough. Clean it off completely. Literally gonna have to clean it off completely. I can smell it burning.
Literally got the welder set to stun, so it's uh, it's putting quite a lot of heat in. Right, there we have. All I've got to do now, don't want to touch it, it's still absolutely belting red hot, is these dips in the welds. I weld them up so it's completely flush, grind it flat. I don't want to take too much off these welds around the side that's holding it. And then the same on this one as well. But by the time it's had primer on there, um, I'll probably go down with a bit of weld sealer, just a uh, seam sealer, just, just to f smooth it out a little bit. And then it's all under sealed on top. See, I've got that little bit of weld there just to do as well. And tidy up underneath a little bit of weld there to do. I'm happy with that. I don't think it's gonna need plating over the top. I'm quite happy with how that's gonna look. It might look a little bit untidy at the minute of the welds, but um, I wasn't going for pretty. A pretty weld isn't always a strong weld. Um, I was literally just getting it as, as much in there as as much weld into there as I could, so I probably had the welder turned up a little bit high, but uh, I wanted it plenty of penetration straight down there. I don't think it needs that return thing there, but the whole thing's absolutely red hot now. So I've got to let it cool down before I do anything else. Yeah, by the time it's, I said I'll weld them flat that back. I don't bother fill it or anything like that, I'll just do it with weld by the time I've done it, it's just as easy. Then, uh, yeah, I don't think that's going anywhere. And like I said before, I'm not expecting this to be a mint pristine project. All it, uh, Land Rover, all it is is just a quick project to um, make it solid, make it good, make sure it's going to last a lot of years to come, which that, I believe, will. This should now... I'm against the time here because my camera's about to go dead. It should all line up perfectly. But I'm absolutely filthy. It's red hot in here. It's a lovely day outside. And I'm stuck in here. Oh, belting, belting heat from the welder and uh, the sun. It looks, uh, obviously, it's a metal roof, so it's, it, it sort of microwaves you. Which is awesome in the, in the winter. Not quite so awesome in the summer, but I'll get some fans, be right. Right, there you go. Like I said, I'll tidy that up um, and I'll get some pictures on the end of the video just showing it all done, tidied up. Right guys, thanks for watching. I'm gonna be doing a video in a minute actually, uh, going and having a look around the, the fire truck and forward controls and a couple of other Land Rovers and Rovers and bits that are around here. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna get myself cleaned up put my camera on charge because that's about dead and go and do that so I'll see you soon guys thanks for watching bye bye